All righty, uh, Gatekeeper here. Do I have a very, very, very surprise to show you? This is a gray 200 solid state base amp. Um, I believe it comes with two uh, MRF 455s. At least that's what I put in it. Alrighty, let me tell you the story behind this amp. This is an amp that I actually only paid, I think, $30 for. Because a guy had given it to one of my buddies and said it just needed transistors. Well, uh, whew, it was way far beyond just needing new transistors. Oh, my goodness. And uh, the amp was just as dirty as it could. I mean, it was just in the roughest condition it could be in. I mean... It, I was tempted to literally strip it down and just use the heat sink for something else. I was very close to doing that till something just clicked in me. I tested a toroidal transformer and I was getting uh, about a 22 volt float from it. And I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just build a two transistor amp in here. And then something else hit me, and I was like, you know, these amps are kind of rare. Let's just do a rebuild. So what we had to do, as you see on this board here, let me get something to point with. This area right here, I had to take everything off the board. Every single thing except that little trimmer cap right there. That is the only thing. Everything came off the board. Even this. I had replaced uh, two blown resistors right there and a, bl uh, and a blown uh, key in transistor. Uh, it, wasn't, it was a, a, a silicon general purpose transistor for the uh, preamp. Took every single thing off this board and scrubbed the living heck out of it with uh, fingernail polish remo re removal. I had to scrub with fingernail polish removal front the back, I even almost uh, scrubbed away to low, high, medium a little bit. I had to scrub so hard. We uh, took the uh, four red LEDs, put blue in here, and um, put uh, two uh, MRF 455s, two used ones I had laying around. And uh, after we did that, did a complete rebuild, changed out all the caps, put brand new components in there, even put a... Uh, a brand new output transformer there. Put the same input transformer. It was still in good shape. After we did all that, we uh, we we uh, keyed her up, and on low she was doing almost uh, 400 watts. And I'm like, what in the world? These are two 455s, man. You'll be lucky to get 300 out of it. And I put it on medium, doing about 450. And I put it on high. And I, I, to save my life, should have done a video beforehand. I, I, I meant to dang do it, but it was doing 520 watts on high. Pills getting hot as all get out. And I put a voltmeter on it, and guess what? On low, it was on 17 volts, medium 18, and on high, it was on 19 volts. Don't ask why. For some reason, the transformer is just a high voltage transformer. I was like, you know, should I put bigger pills in it? But looked at the transformer. The transformer is just an eight amp transformer. So I was like, you know, I can't get away with putting bigger pills in it. So I've done something that I have been wanting to do for a good little while now. A good little while. I regulated it. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now is learn how to regulate power supplies, this and that. And that's what we did. What we got going on here is this right here is a 15 volt regulator. It's a LM7815. Um, it's a 15 volt regulator. We took the two caps out of here. They were just laying down right here. We took the two caps out, filter caps, and replaced it with one filter cap. And this is from an old project, uh, Pyramid Power Supply. Made the um, room right here to make this board. Put the regulator on the filter cap. for uh, the, the That's the filter cap for the input of the regulator. 
And here's your three pass transistors. Here's your driver pass transistor. Driving two pass transistors. Here's your uh, balancing resistors. Your one ohm five watts. And as you can see, the regulated voltage carries on from there on the this far leg onto the power source. Filter cap right here for the output. Filter cap way over here. That's the actual uh, filtering for in between right here. So, I'm uh, quite happy with how it turned out. As I said, we were sitting at a um, 22 volt float. Now let's see what we're sitting on. Look at that, almost 14 volts. It was at 20, 22 volts. Now it's right there at 14 volts. Now the only thing that I didn't understand, that I don't understand is, is um, it, sh it should be regulated at about 14.8. But I guess, you know, there might be some voltage drop of the past transistors or the, uh, there might be some voltage drop somewhere just uh, naturally. So that's fine. The only other thing that I'm kind of curious about, maybe uh, some of y'all out there could help me out, is uh, I was thinking that once I regulate it like this, that the voltage is going to stay the same when I key down. And uh, it still drops. The voltage still drops. It doesn't drop below 13 volts. Uh, on high, it does drop a little bit below 13 volts. But um, but it still does has a drop, you know. And just like my pyramid right here, you know, whatever voltage I turn that to, you know, it stays at voltage when I key down. So, uh, you know, that's something I'm learning. That's something I'm going to have to learn about. Maybe there's more involved to get the voltage to stay the same. Maybe I got to regulate the current. I don't know. Maybe somebody can help me out. But the main thing is we got this bad boy regulated because we couldn't run these at 19 volts, 17, 18 volts. So we got it regulated down to a safe voltage. And this box is doing exactly what it says it should do. So let's show you now. We are putting 20 watts into here. Hello, t t t t audio, 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 audio. All right, we got 20 watts going in. All right, here it is on low. Do te 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 audio 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 audio. All right, two hundred on low, medium. Do te 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 audio 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 audio. Not too big of a difference on medium. There is a bigger difference on high. On high. Hello, che 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 gori ori 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 Yo, che 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 gori ori 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 ori